Hey, what's up guys? My name is Alex from Lions Paw Production and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. In today's video I'd like to share with you how I got to my first paid client, maybe my journey will inspire you or help you out, how you can do it as well. By the way, I'm really sorry for not posting videos for a longer period of time, because when you have your normal job and then you are trying to film some videos, you actually don't have that much time left for YouTube videos because you are learning, you are making client videos and you still have to keep up with your main work to pay your bills. But in the near future, I will work on that, I promise you. When I just started out, I was watching a lot of YouTube videos and as you already know, my favorite uh, YouTuber is Daniel Schiffer, or let's say one of my favorite YouTubers is Daniel Schiffer. And he was talking about how he did get to his first plate clients. So I did exactly the same. Lucky enough, the colleagues of mine, they were just opening their own restaurants and they didn't have their physical place. So we filmed our first commercial at their kitchen. By the way, before that, my friends just simply helped me. We filmed our first commercial at the kitchen. Unfortunately, I don't have those videos. So I will film my iPhone display or you can go to my Instagram account and check it right there. I was copying Daniel Schiffer's work with uh, like simple tricks and things that I added to it, but basically it was a copycat. Anyway, my first commercial with a colleagues of mine, it will be again a screen recording from the iPhone. I'm sorry for that. I had to erase my iPhone and I don't have those videos but still it's here, check it out. The next step was really out of my comfort zone. After recording this video, I went from restaurant to restaurant, from bar to bar, asking if I can make this type of commercials for them for free. And I need to tell you that the most uncomfortable thing for me was when somebody said no, or like, for example, they already had someone. And I was like, I was writing to several restaurants on Instagram and I was communicating via the email. But I need to tell you this, the personal contact was like 80% successful because when people see you in person, they see that you really care, that you are like giving all of it, all of you into this and that you really want to make that effort towards them. So they are more willing to say yes than rather when you write to them, if it makes sense what I'm saying. So what do I recommend is for you to go and like visit some of your local restaurants where you already were, for example, or visit some local stores, barbers. It doesn't matter what type of video you would like to make at first, but it's better if you go to some place where people already know you, where you are familiar and you can tell them, okay guys, I'm newbie, but I'd like to make uh, like a good video for you. I'm just starting out, but I will make it for free if you are willing to give me a chance. And this is the crazy part. My self-esteem was so low that I didn't know like whether I was even worth like making videos for free. I thought like, Oh my God, what if you, if they don't like it? Oh my God, what if like I oversell myself and like now they un will not be willing to work with me and everybody will sell, say no, like what if I'm so bad at it? What if I don't make it work? But in the end of the day, you really have to make this leap of faith, invest your time and effort into your future because 
it can really make it it can really work out for your benefit so after a while i was asked to film some different style of videos for different restaurants different barbers i don't put a lot of my work on instagram i try to do it as much as possible but anyway um, i'm most proud of one of my videos it's only 20 seconds long but it was recorded again for the colleagues of mine for the first restaurant because like just watch It, it was recorded on my Sony a6400 with a 16mm Sigma lens and you, yeah, you can imagine. But the colors, the light in this and color grading and this gradient map because as you could see, you can rewind this video. Behind it is completely black, but in some parts it's not and you can actually see the kitchen so everything was achieved in the color grading in the post-production in between jobs i was still recording my dance videos because it was my main uh, source of income from videos at that time and uh, i was using everything i learned on youtube into those videos like for example i paid for story blocks because i'm using those overlays lens, lens flares different particles backgrounds everything it's like it's so awesome story blocks forever <laughs> anyway i was recording dance videos and i was approached by local influencer uh, she asked me if i'm willing to work with her and she is actually willing to record some video clips um, by the way i recorded now uh, and edited my second video clip i will link uh, it, down below you can check if you are interested like what did I make so she asked me for two things first one if I'm willing to participate and work with her as an influencer to make some better affiliate videos for the production she's making like basically make videos for Instagram and TikTok with her for money and then she asked me if I also am willing to work with her on some video clips for her and her boyfriend and of course i said yes and not only because i wanted to get paid or something like this but because as for now while i still have my nine to five experience is the most important thing for me and like i think that having this experience uh, working with your camera working with lights being creative worth so much more than just going there and asking for money straight away and the thing is that once i started making videos for this influencer others started to ask me to make videos for them and people started to notice me and to know like what i'm doing how am i doing it and i started getting job more and more now so in the end of the day i already signed my contract i will be working four days a week now instead of five or six as i was work as i was working before so this is like a crazy step for me uh, there are a lot of thoughts in my head for example like uh, will i be having a lot of money from this like will it be enough to pay my bills will it be enough for me to even have food because like having two days of my working shift is like it's not that big of an impact but still it's really considerable so it's like my flat rent so i'm losing my flat rent money from my work but as well as it's really exciting and it's out of my comfort zone and i'm really i know that everyone has their own circumstances you can have your family you can have kids maybe you don't have time at all for this but if you are willing to make the leap of faith the jump into the future into unknown i really recommend you doing that so remember start slow process take your time enjoy enjoy the time when you don't have any projects make your own projects enjoy the process because once you start getting the job you won't have time for anything else you see i'm posting those youtube videos once in a while only but 
I'm struggling to improve, but really there is so much time for the video editing. It takes a lot of time, a lot of effort. Just to sum up, find someone who is willing, work with you, work for free at first. Then once you made your portfolio, show this portfolio, go to restaurants, to locals, someone who knows you for free. Do it for free just to make your skill, just to make your skill. Learn every day on YouTube, watch color grading videos. I will definitely make video like my favorite YouTube channels, which I watch, who improved my work, the quality of what I do a lot. And I will share it with you definitely. And then after you did all of this, you can show your work and believe me, like start taking money after that. And even if you are not comfortable, because again, like if you ask for the money, uh, or at least I had those thoughts that I'm not worth taking money for my videos, that my videos are not that good. But believe me, let others decide whether they like willing to work with you or not. Stop judging yourself. Take money. Even if you take $1 for the video, even if you take $10 for a video, it's still really low price, but your mindset mindset will shift. Oh, I make my first $10, I make my first $50, I make my first $100 and so on and so forth. It's so exciting to get paid for what you love and for what you like really willing to do. I really like be free in what you do. <laughs> Everything I say in this video is strictly my opinion. You might have your own journey, someone else has their own journey. This was mine and I'm really looking forward into the future. I hope that it will help you somehow to make your decision, to make a choice, to find your way. And as a filmmakers, let's inspire ourselves, let's be good to ourselves, decent human beings. And I'd like to see you in the next video. Please consider subscribing, leaving a comment down below, leaving me a like. <laughs> really, please don't leave me this like. I hate them so much. <laughs> I got few, but it's like really frustrating. I'm still working on some of my thoughts. Anyway, guys, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for your time and see you in the next one.